Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of the Serket project, this project will show the history of the fictional exoplanet Serket. In this episode we will cover the Ra system in which Serket resides and the history of Serket up to the Alpha Biodiversification event and the animals that emerge from it. We will start with an overview of the Ra system, Ra is a G-type main sequence star with six planets orbiting it, these planets in order from closest to farthest distance from Ra are, Osiris is a rocky planet slightly smaller than Mars. Thoth is a rocky planet about the size of Mercury, Hathor is a rocky planet slightly larger than Mercury with a dense atmosphere and two moons, Serket the planet this project will focus on is a rocky planet slightly smaller than Earth with one moon and is the only one in the habitable zone. Horus is a gas giant slightly larger than Neptune with 12 moons, and Shu is a ice giant slightly smaller than Uranus with 7 moons. Now on to the history of Serket, life emerged on Serket in the oceans as simple prokaryotic bacteria, but after many millions of years some would evolve photosynthesis using chlorophyll, and after many more millions of years a merger of two bacterial cells would result in the first eukaryotic cells and later a second merger would result in the first algae, after many many more millions of years the first animals would emerge, the phytozoans, the platybranchians, and the arthrozoans. The phytozoans are radially symmetrical animals that live in a mutualistic symbiotic relationship with a kind of algae where the phytozoan acts as protection for the algae while the algae provides energy for the phytozoan. Phytozoans reproduce using broadcast spawning, and they are born as six-armed planktonic larvae, if the larva lands on a suitable spot it will undergo metamorphosis and the symbiotic algae within its tissues will awaken from its state of dormancy and start multiplying to fill the phytozoan's tissues as it grows. The platybranchians are bilaterally symmetrical animals that live on the sea floor, it has blue copper-based blood, an arm on its anterior end that is covered in chemoreceptors and uses to sense its environment and find food, respi rates using a flat flap of tissue wrapped around its lateral and caudal ends, moves using its foot in a wave-like motion similar to a slug, and eats by crawling on top of any organic matter and digesting it with its foot. The arthrozoans are bilaterally symmetrical animals that live as plankton, it has red iron-based blood, a long segmented worm-like body, Respi rates using feathery gills in between each segment, for simple eyes, moves using an eel-like motion, and has a through gut. Now that I have covered the three main animal phyla I hope to see you in the next episode where we will cover the first half of the alpha biodiversification event. Goodbye.